Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to give you my review and opinion on our Yanmar 186D uh, tractor. It's kind of a residential uh, grade tractor. Uh, it is built like a brick crap house. Um, it is like a little bowl. First this is a 1983, uh, 18 horsepower, 3 cylinder. Uh, it has the 9 speed power shift transmission which means you do not have to push in the clutch to shift it. Uh, once you just put it in first or reverse, uh, you can move the shift gear wherever you want without having to stop. Uh, it's kind of a cross between a hydro and a regular manual transmission. Uh, the D stands for four wheel drive. As you can see on the front axles, very beefy front axles. Uh, Yanmar makes a lot of John Deere subcompacts. Uh, a lot of high quality tractors will have Yanmar diesels in them. Uh, they run forever. Uh, you can see here the rear end, uh, nice solid cast iron, very beefy. All the way along there, it's very solid. Uh, we do have a newer Kubota and it doesn't even compare as far as it's a 23 horse and it doesn't even compare to this thing uh, the Kubota is about 400 pounds lighter even though it's the same size and if you've done tractor work you have to have weight uh, in order to have traction I don't care how much horsepower you have if you don't have the weight you're just gonna sit there and spin tires and do nothing uh, so this I believe weighs uh, right around 1600 pounds uh, it's probably closer to 1800 with the blade here on the back and uh, it it is a like I said a little bull it will do way more than you think it will uh, if you happen to find one of these uh, for sale and it's a reasonable price I would snatch it up in a heartbeat um, there's really nothing that goes wrong with these other than you know over the years you might have to replace some hoses and uh, that's about it they just start right up and run no problems no leaks um, I can leave this bucket up in the air say four feet off the ground uh, come back in two weeks it is still four feet off the ground it doesn't uh, sag at all uh, the three-point uh, it will drop down maybe six inches over a week week and a half uh, it does have the live PTO and what's kind of rare is it has a, a thousand rpm uh, rear PTO which most of them don't go up that high uh, it has a differential lock so if you do start to spin you can lock in the rear end so that all the tires will spin um, it's it, like I said it's been a great little tractor uh, for residential use so you can um, I guess you can kind of see our woods there it's small enough to kind of snake through some narrow tree areas uh, but big enough to uh, do some major work. It will pull out some big heavy trees, no problem. Um, this loader is all quick detach, uh, even though I don't think I've ever had it off. Uh, but it does come with other implements, so uh, you can take this off uh, fairly easily. Just because it pulls some hitch pins, and uh, it's got little legs right here, so you could drop the loader down, back out and hook up another implement um, other than that like this is a another thing I wanted to point out this is an eight foot blade on here and I believe the blades rated for like 35 horsepower tractors and up and uh, this little thing will drag this blade through the dirt um, no problem uh, it does help we'll put uh, some weight in the bucket uh, maybe 300 pounds in the bucket and it will go right along like there's uh, nothing behind it uh, like I said you just need a little weight to keep the tires digging and away it goes uh, it will run oh it runs a long time on diesel I believe it holds four a 4.1 gallons or something like that not a lot but uh, it does run forever uh, not like a gas you know or gas lawnmower holds five gallons and Runs about an hour and a half and it's out. Um, this thing will run all day long easily on four gallons of diesel. So, as you can kind of tell, 
Uh, I really like this tractor. Um, it is, there's really nothing negative I can say about it. Um, I wish it, I believe it lifts about 550 pounds um, on the front loader, and I believe it's capable of lifting about 750 on the three point. I do wish it would lift a little more, but uh, if it did, it would it would probably uh, outbalance it. Like I said, the more you lift on the front, the more weight you got to have in the back, and you need a little bit wider tractor so you don't tip over. So it's it's rated just right. Um, I do want to start it up and uh, run the hydraulics up and down um, because I've noticed I've had you know quite a few subcompacts and the Kubotas seem like they're really slow um, raising and lowering the the loader. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the ones I have. It's um, but this one's a little bit faster. Um, not lightning fast, but I'm going to start it up and uh, kind of go through it. You just want to have. The uh, throttle at about half, you got to push in the clutch, have it in neutral. And away it goes. So I've got the idle set at about uh, half, I think it's about eh, 1500 RPM. Well, and I'm going to raise and lower the loader for you, you can see how fast it goes. Uh, of course, if you were running full throttle, it's going to be faster, but this will give you an idea. point as well. As you can see the three point is uh, extremely fast. Uh, way faster than any other subcompact I've ever had. And uh, that pretty much concludes my review of this little guy. I said if you can find one for sale at a reasonable price, um, you're not going to be disappointed for, uh, for residential use. Uh, great little tractor, real good balance. Um, I said I'm extremely impressed with it. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching.